Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. So I do a lot of talking about meditation and I make guided meditations for people and I coach my clients in meditation quite frequently. But what I haven't talked about are my own personal um, techniques for meditation and the, the tools and uh, things that I use when I meditate myself. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today and maybe give you some tips and tricks along the way. So something that I really like to do for myself is listen to binaural beats. Um, binaural beats are based on the philosophy that ancient drumming actually changes your brain waves and some beats cause you to go into theta waves and some beats cause you to go into beta waves but the point is they change your brain waves so that you are actually connected to different currents of energy um, I'm, I'm explaining that very loosely. I'm not explaining that very scientifically. There is a lot of scientific research out there for binaural beats and the research that it is based on. I encourage you to look into that if it's something you're interested in. So the binaural beats are actually typically electronic beats, sometimes accompanied by other instruments. There's a lot of videos out there on YouTube. That's actually where I get the ones that have become my favorites. Um, for those beats, you want to um, listen with your headphones. Um, and I listen to those not just when I'm meditating, but at all kinds of other times when I just um, need to really get into the mindset of uh, spiritual work or really center myself or ground myself or really focus. It helps for all of those things. I also use them when actually meditating and I just kind of have my headphones in and I have it on a low volume going in the background and it helps you to focus. It helps you to tune in very deeply, very quickly. The meditation visualizations that I use vary a little bit, but I have um, one basic sort of program that I've created for myself that I do pretty consistently. And it consists of laying on the floor with my palms up, um, my spine, my body aligned as much as I possibly can have it, arms out to your sides about a foot away from your body, palms up, um, legs spread about hip width apart in line with your hips is perfect. Let your feet fall out to the sides and relax. I start by taking some very deep breaths in through my nose, out through my mouth. When I do that, as I am breathing in, I visualize myself pulling up renewed, fresh, sparkling, clean energy from the earth. And when I breathe out, I visualize myself releasing old um, stagnant energy or negativity or anything in my body that I do not need. And I actually feel consciously relaxed and feel my body relaxing with, with each out breath in that way. Three deep breaths like this is enough, but if you want to go deeper, then you'll want to keep focusing on those breaths and focusing on those specific visualizations until you are at a comfortable place. After that, I imagine bright white spiritual or spiritual light or universal energy, however you want to perceive that, coming in through my crown chakra and just running up and down um, in front of my spine, just running up and down through my body, kind of warming my body up and getting me opened up to that kind of energy work. My next step is taking that energy and go visualizing it going out each of my chakras, cleansing my chakras with that bright white golden light, starting with your crown, going to your eye, your throat, moving down your body, um, doing that just once, even doing it really quickly, is beneficial. I should stop and add that you can use any of these steps by themselves. You can break this up however you would like to, but this is my sequence. Um, when I do that visualization, I'm just looking at my cats who are growling at each other. Um, when I do that visualization, I actually try to feel. I don't try to, I do feel the energy. If you can't yet visualize it, if you can't yet feel, if you can't yet make yourself or um, 
if you can't yet cause yourself to, if you can't yet summon up certain feelings, don't worry. You don't have to, but with practice, you will be able to visualize and with practice, you will be able to conjure up certain feelings. So start working on it now and it will help you. It will help you in all kinds of ways further down the road and in all kinds of different areas of your life. It's it's worth worthwhile taking the time to work on that. So I actually feel the energy of that. I actually feel that energy coming through my chakras when I do that. And the way that it feels to me is like um, warm, tingling, opening sensations. And if you don't feel it just of your own accord naturally, you can actually focus on those kinds of feelings, those kinds of sensations, and it will help you be able to feel it naturally. All of these kinds of um, exercises, all of this kind of energy work, meditation, exercises, whatever you want to call it, it all gets much easier and much quicker over time the more that you practice. You will find that you can pop into a meditative state very easily once you've been practicing on a regular basis. Um, consistency is really important. Doing it at the same time of day, in the same location, in the same position, and doing the same type of exercises over and over again. It trains your mind so that when you get, get to that place again the next day, you can slide into it so much more easily. So after I do the visualization of cleansing the chakras with that bright white golden energy, I then go through each chakra with the actual color associations using the energy that works with those chakras. So um, violet for your crown. I, I often use white for my crown. It just works better for me. Um, violet for your third eye, blue for your throat, so on and so forth. You can go through your chakras as many times as you want to. You can spend um, as much or as little time as you would like doing this. You can spend more times on the chakras that feel particularly heavy or difficult. Find a flow that works for you. There's no hard and fast rules. Um, after that, after that, I often do an exercise that involves getting the my right and left side of my brain to work in conjunction with the, with one another. I do a quick visualization which entails bringing energy into the right side of my brain and then visualizing that energy bouncing from the right side of my brain to the left side of my brain and then bouncing off of a mirror back into the other side of my brain. This is getting a little intensive, but I did want to share with you what I do. Like I said, it's an exercise designed to create balance within you, to create balance in your brain, in your mind, and in your life. I find it really helpful. After I do that, I imagine the bottom of my head filled with a sparkling blue glacier lake. <laughs> and it just helps to kind of ground, purify, and clear your mind and prepare you for spiritual work. It's just, it's just something I picked up along the way that happens to work for me. Um, you can stop there. You can stop at any of these steps that you would like to stop at. Um, make sure that you do some grounding work afterwards. In other, way, in other words, um, something that makes you feel connected to the earth or connected to the material or physical world or connected to your body. It can be as simple as tuning back into your breath and focusing on your breaths for a few minutes. It can be as simple as making sure that you are coming fully into your body and experiencing the sensations of your body, experiencing your body resting against the earth, um, things of that nature. If you feel particularly lightheaded or um, spacey headed afterwards, then you want to do something like drink water, eat salt, have a snack, um, go outside, stand, stand in the earth. Um, there are very simple, all kinds of very simple grounding techniques. If you'd like more information about grounding techniques, I would be happy to do a future video on that. So just let me know if it's something you're interested in. Um, okay, I think that's all for today. There are some other things that I often do after that last step that I mentioned. Um, they typically involve um, visualizations that help me to begin to open up and connect with spirit guides or to channel spiritual energy, but 
that's a that's a whole nother topic so I hope you enjoyed the video like I said let me know if you have any questions I'm happy to make a future video based on answering your questions I'm open to your suggestions so contact me if you would like to feel free to share the video don't forget to like the video comment on the video and share it with your friends thanks so much for watching and stay blessed